my name is Mr. Ishen Goma, and uh, today we are going to look at place values. So basically, when we are talking about place values, we are talking about the positions of numbers. Now, first of all, we have to remember numbers are grouped into two. Group one, we have what we call the whole numbers, and group two, we have what we call uh, decimal numbers. Now, the whole numbers are those that are formed from the decimal point this side. And the decimal numbers are those which are formed the other side of the decimal point. Okay, so when we look at the whole numbers this side and the decimal number the other side, we can be able to distinguish the positions of each digit of a number. Now let's start with the whole numbers. Now when you're looking at the whole numbers, the positions of whole numbers normally begin from ones. For instance, let's get a big digit like six. Now, to read this digit, that is 6,754,576. So when you look clearly, this first digit, this side, this is the position of ones. The next position, here is the position of tens. Then we come to the position of hundreds. And after position of hundreds, the next position is the thousands. After the position of thousands, we come to 10, we come to 10 thousands. So this would be hundred thousands and the next one will be millions however this does not stop here the positions of numbers continue 10 millions 100 millions enters to billions then we continue to 10 billions we continue to 100 billions then we enter trillion, so numbers will continue. That's why I kept the arrow that the position of all numbers here will always continue this side. Now, when we look at the decimal numbers, when you look at the decimal numbers, also their positions have some names. Okay, for instance, if I have, let's say, um, 5.6253, uh, remember this is a decimal point. This side is a whole number, so we don't need it in decimal numbers, but the first number here is known as tenth, followed by hundredth next will be thousandth we keep a th this th has got significant importance now remember from this side of all number we have ones but from the side of decimal numbers we don't have ones because the first digit here represents the first position of decimal number. And if we are to write it, that position, 10th is just like one over 10. Hundredth is just like one over 100. Thousandth is just like one over, one over thousand. But when you write ones, ones is just a one. Hmm? Remember, let's take back here. Here, when you write ones, ones is one. 
tens, tens is just a ten. Hundreds, hundreds is just one hundred. So thousands will be just one thousand. So when you look at these whole numbers, when you come to the decimal numbers, now they will be in the form of fractions. So that's why we keep th. So in whole numbers, the place values, we don't keep th. It's just ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, etc. But when we come to decimal numbers, we keep on, we keep on, uh, th to represent the fraction. Now, there are other things we need to keep remembering. For example, uh, if I have a whole number digit, if I have a whole number, let's say, this is a whole number, but normally when you have such a whole number, it means we have a hidden point at that position. Why? Because we know once you have whole numbers, at the end of the first position, that is ones, the next is always the small point. Then we shall start the small numbers. So we need to remember, whenever I have a whole number, let's say uh, this number here, like that. This is a whole number, and that is 754,000. So whenever I have 754,000, and it stops like that, it means I have a decimal point which is hidden at the end of this other side. Now, so when we're looking at um, place values of numbers, we have to consider wall numbers, as we have seen. We have to consider uh, decimal numbers. And the decimal numbers is based on the position of the decimal point. In this case, once I see the decimal point, I know this number here is tens. But this number here will be tenth. Why? Because this is on the decimal side, while this one is on wall numbers. So that is what we call place values. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Shangoma.